Dear reader, allow me to introduce you to my book. Though it might at first appear like many books you've come across, it is far from ordinary. You may, therefore, have some misunderstandings about its nature. The story that awaits you has not been fully told. In fact, its conclusion is not yet known, even to myself. It is in that way that my book is special. It is in that way that you are special. Without you, there is no story. Chapter one. Normal isn't what it used to be. This is a story about change. Nestled in a shallow valley is the town of Beacon Pines. Far from the town square, across the river, past the neglected welcome sign, a young boy walks alone at dawn. His name is Luca Van Horn, and like you, dear reader, he's here for a reason. Hey, Dad. How are things going? Today is the first day of summer vacation. I start middle school next year, I guess. I was six years old when you died. It's been six years now. From here on out, you'll be gone longer than you were here. It feels like that should mean something. Mom always said that this tree was your favorite spot in the world. Me too. <laughs> hey, Luca! I knew I'd find you here. Rolo was Luca's closest friend. He possessed many fine qualities, but subtlety was not one of them. Well, after I banged on your door to your grand answered, and after I checked the pond, and climbed up to the treehouse, then I knew I'd find you here. Rolo finally noticed the tears swelling in his friend's eyes, and the flowers on the grave. Oh, uh, yeah, right. You and your mom always did this on your dad's birthday. Yeah. I didn't know if you were going to keep doing it now that your mom's gone too. She's not gone. She's just... missing. Sorry, I meant to say since she went missing. She's gonna come back, Rolo. Of course she is. Okay, Dad. See you next time. I think I'm ready to get out of here. Sure, lead the way. <laughs> Wonderful! I had a good feeling about you from the moment you opened my book. That charm is a very special thing. Very special indeed. Keep hold of it for now. Its purpose will reveal itself soon enough. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. The whole reason I was looking for you. I was wondering if you'd ever get to that. I found the perfect way to start our summer. How's that? Rollo looked to the side suspiciously. Not here. They might be watching. They who? Shh, not so loud. We need to do this in a secure location. Mission control. All right, I just have to tell Gran and then we can head out. What are you gonna tell her? I don't know, I don't think of something. If it's all the same to you, I'll meet you at the welcome sign. Your Gran still kind of wigs me out. I don't do well with new people. She moved in, like, half a year ago? Just meet me at the sign when you're done. Suit yourself. I won't be long. Dear reader, forgive me for this interlude. Remember that charm you found in the dandelion patch? There are more of those special charms to discover throughout Beacon Pines. 
They've been known to reveal themselves to those who are willing. Some of them can be found in this very house. Grant had already lit the fire. She kept a warm house, as if by grandmotherly obligation. One of his father's old stethoscopes, Luca had spent countless hours listening to anything and everything with it. Not for years, though. Since Gran had moved in, the house was more peaceful, more orderly, and more covered in flowery fabric. Just some dusty knickknacks. An array of prepared meals crowded the refrigerator, each labeled with the day of the week. A pair of dull scissors, a broken can opener, a mostly empty bottle of glue, and some loose string. The only piece of furniture Gran had brought when she moved in was an old hutch. Luca paused at his parents' bedroom door. He just wasn't ready to go in yet. Gran had commandeered the upstairs closet when she moved in. Some things need shelter from a young boy's mischief, she said. Gran's bed was undisturbed. Luca didn't mind that she had a habit of falling asleep in front of the fireplace. It meant that he could read late into the night. Luca tossed on his favorite old sweater. Even though it was the first day of summer, a chill still hung in the air. Grand's moving in meant that most of Luca's things had been crammed in the corner. Luca was somewhat annoyed by the situation. Oh my, this is quite exciting. I am now certain that you are the one I've been waiting for all these years. You'll recall I was a bit coy regarding the use of charms earlier. Excuse me, I tend to have a flair for the dramatic. You are about to encounter your first turning point. There are certain times in this tale when everything hinges on a single word. Step forth, dear reader. A beginner's guide to gardening laid open on the bench. Hey, Grin. I'm gonna go hang with Rolo for the day. See you later. Hold up now. Where are you and Rolo headed exactly? Oh, nowhere special. The less Grin knew, the better for everyone involved. gonna go chill for the day. We were just gonna go chill for the day. The best lies are built on truth. You boys are always in a hurry to do nothing. We stick to what we're good at. We'll make sure you're done chilling in time for supper. Easy. Impressive. You've managed to navigate your first turning point without too much of a mess. That is the power of charms. A single word can change everything. I think it's time to introduce you to the Chronicle. The Chronicle is a record of the decisions you've made. You can see the turning point which has been revealed. At any time, you can use the Chronicle to go back and invoke different charms, creating new branches. Luckily for us, this is the one and only turning point where the charms won't dramatically alter fate. It's the perfect opportunity to experiment with rewriting things. We were just gonna go ponder for the day. 
we were just going to go ponder for the day. Oh, really? What are you boys going to ponder on such a lovely day, exactly? This was Luca's chance to sell his alibi. Um, you know, big stuff, small stuff, medium? Mostly medium pondering. Nailed it. Well, make sure you don't overburden yourself with the preponderance of pondering. Huh? Oh, forget it. Off with you now. A sturdy old wheelbarrow. Oh, and Luca. You and Rolo stay out of trouble. I know, I know. Come on, come on! Woo! Dang it, Rolo. For a town that saw few visitors, the welcome was perhaps more grand than necessary. You know the drill. Don't let anyone discover a secret path. Thank you.